to Charlotte Bacon, Rachel D. Avino, Olivia Engel, Dylan Hockley, Don Hoshfong, Jesse Lewis, Aina Green, Grace McDonald, Annie Murphy, Emily Parker, Nor Posner, Jesse Jessica Ricos, Lauren Rosasu, Mary Sherlatch, Victoria Soto, Daniel Barton, Josephine Gay, Madeline Hasu, Catherine Hubbard, Chase Kowalski, James Matilio, Jack Pinto, Caroline Previti, Avili Richmond, Benjamin Wheeler, Allison Wyatt, and Nancy Lanza. Father God of all comfort, I come before you today in prayer for the 27 victims of the Newtown, Connecticut massacre. Merciful God, sometimes in life we just don't have the answer as to why evil things happen. Lord, our hearts are heavy as a nation and as parents. In our hearts we are all filled with emotions for the victims and the survivor of the Newtown, Connecticut massacre. First, we want to thank you that there are actually children that survived this tragedy. Lord, allow them to be consoled professionally and spiritually. Father God, we bind any nightmare that will try to torment the, tor torment the minds of the survivors. And I ask that you allow your spirit to comfort them and ease their pain. For those who have died, we mourn for them and with their families, Lord. And this nation as a whole are all touched emotionally, spiritually, and in some cases physically, because it would be our child or children, and we are at a loss for words. Father, most people would say that there is no perfect time for death, and during the holiday season, death is especially more difficult. For this reason, we mourn with you, Newtown, Connecticut. Lord, we know that no answer will ever be a good answer as to why the lives of these children were cut so short. We will never know what these 20 children would have become in life as their academic lives were just getting started. And for this reason, we mourn with you, Newtown, Connecticut. And merciful God, we know that only time will lessen the pain and the hurt from the sting of death. But we ask anyway that you heal the mothers, fathers, parents, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, loved ones, friends, and yes, Lord, the students and school faculty of Sandy Hooks Elementary School. The parents took their children to school that Friday morning of December the 14th. And their children did not return that afternoon to be welcomed into their arms of love. We as a nation and those of us whom are parents of children, living or deceased, understand the families of Newtown, Connecticut pain. The classroom at Sandy Hooks Elementary School will never be the same. The room of these children homes have a void of their laughter and childlike qualities. So for this reason, we mourn with you, Newtown, Connecticut. Great God, I don't know if any of these families believe in God, but nonetheless, I pray that you relieve them of any anger in their hearts towards you as well as allow the families to be ministered to comfort and give them a peace like only you can provide, God. Lord, we lift up all the mothers and fathers before you this day. And we are asking you to strengthen them, Lord, as it is very difficult to bury a child and to go through the process of planning their funerals. And for this reason, Newtown, Connecticut, 
we mourn with you. Father God, I pray that those that might not believe in God will accept Christ and lean on their faith, family, and friends in the days and months ahead. Oh, Father, for all the parents across America, let us all remember that life is fleeting and too short, and tomorrow is not promised to no man, woman, or child. So while we as parents have our children with us, whether they are minor or adults, let us take advantage of each hour and each day as if it were our last time we will see them. Father God, let us all focus on the things that matter, encourage and prepare our kids to be all that they can be on every level and of any age. Lord, we are comforted in knowing that the 27 deceased individuals are with you in heaven and aren't suffering. And to the families that represent the deceased, be comforted in knowing that you will see your child or children again and, and that this earth is just our temporary home. And lastly, Father, each and every child and adults whom our victims have gone too soon, I will miss you. However, you will never be forgotten in the hearts of millions. I pray that our President Barack Obama, U.S. Senate and U.S. Congress will find a way to come together to strengthen our gun laws whereby adults and children will be able to live in a safer environment in America. God bless through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.